Okay, the Randgate glue joint cutter for long grain glue joining. Um, pretty simple cutter to set up. It's um, from the tabletop of the shaper. You want to be 4.5 millimeters below that for the body of the cutter. So I have set that dimension using the distometer. We're going to be using a reduction bushing again, so the top of the reduction bushing. 4.5. So then the cutting circle of this cutter is 130. So I have set my fence to 65, which is half that. But on this cutter, we want to be taking a little bit at the end feed. So I'm going to set the end feed to cut a millimeter deeper. We'll do that right here. A millimeter. That could be anything. I mean, it could be a sixteenth. We work in millimeters. Not critical. The alignment of the fence will be critical. All right. We'll carefully insert the cutter. <laughs> Fence is in pretty close because we're we've got an open fence here. Okay, we got the uh, cutter in the machine. Since we're working in automatic mode, I found the height of the cutter, and we're going to make the first pass 2.5 millimeters below that. Now the cutter is supplied with a 2.5 millimeter shim for manual machines. In that case you would do your first cut with the shim in with the height set correctly and then for your second cut you just simply remove the shim and you're good. So we also have the one millimeter fence offset so that we're removing the entire face of the wood. Uh, so I'm going to start the machine, run one piece and then I'm going to raise the cutter head 2.5 millimeters and run the second piece and everything should fit. I might add that uh, in increments of five millimeter, the, the fingers will come out the same each way. Uh, but if, you, if you've got an odd thickness, the fingers will be in a little different location top to bottom.